Hi, my name is George Chamberlain. I'm with the Center for Responsible Seafood, and I'm here in Panama, where the U.S. Soybean Export Council is convening a meeting on sustainability. And with me here today is Laurent DeBell, who is the corporate counsel and head of uh, general counsel and head of uh, corporate affairs. Corporate affairs. Mm -hmm. That's right. For Regal Springs, which is one of the premier tilapia companies in the world. And so it's exciting to hear what's going on with Regal Springs. And I, I wonder if, Laurent, <laughs> you could just give us a little update. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, uh, pleasure to be here. I think I'd like to thank USEC as well on this invitation. My first time in, in Panama, actually. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, thank you, George, for this uh, opportunity. Uh, look, you know, we, we are beginning of a new year, uh, still 23. I think um, we've been on um, 2022 really strengthening our base as a premium tilapia producer with a large market and the largest market in the USA. Um, we are still therefore positioning ourselves as a premium Absolutely. tilapia producer. Um, I think what we can say is we've been always very loyal to our roots and our foundations, which is our mantra is still doing well by doing good. Yes. And since we are, you know, today in, a, in these two days in a sustainability related conference, uh, this seems to me quite relevant. We haven't really, a founder 30 years ago was not really thinking about sustainability. He yes. was just thinking about managing a company, providing jobs, employments to local communities and farming in the best possible way on different lakes, which also is a kind of differentiator, I think, with other tilapia producers, is this strategy of having now five lakes in three countries in different continents. Wow, that's just amazing. Yes, in very pristine locations. Mm -hmm. I think that's one mm -hmm. of the remarkable standout points for Regal Springs. And also your, your focus on yeah. helping the local community and i believe you're working on reducing carbon footprint yes yes thank you um actually 2022 was a very busy year on uh reaching out to partners uh, i think this was said this morning during one of the uh speakers intervention you can't do that all by yourself so we figure out ways to partner with relevant uh, stakeholders a uh, few examples, we partnered on the uh, fish welfare with Ace Aquatech, uh, with uh, TC, yeah, TCRS. TCRS. We were very delighted well. to work with exactly. you on that. It was funded by Open Philanthropy. Exactly. And so, yeah. so this was a very exciting project, quite a bespoke project because uh, we had really to move from thermal stunning to electric stunning. And there's, you know, a few adjustments to be made in each of the processing plants. Uh, but this is working in Mexico and Honduras and uh, soon this year, early this year in Indonesia. That's just fantastic. Um, You're a real industry leader in that sense. That's yeah, yeah. This awesome. obviously has a sustainability gain, but also commercial benefits, especially in some of the markets in Europe. Um, just a few examples as well, we've partnered with uh, IDH on the carbon footprint. Uh, so we are starting with Honduras, uh, trying to reach out some tools on how to measure our carbon and environmental footprint. This is a long, long journey. Um, something that is really important for us is our partnership with the Blue Food Partnership. Um, we have taken some time to join the initiatives but we think that food security uh, is really, in fact, at the cornerstone of our sustainability strategy. That's awesome. And just briefly, could you mention the three locations, countries where you yep, operate? Yeah, exactly. So we started with Indonesia almost like 30 years ago. Um, and we are in this beautiful uh, lake of Toba in northern part of Sumatra, um, which is actually uh, a region, uh, a Christian region in this very large uh, Muslim country so that's also an interesting location then um, this was Honduras and, and later on uh, Mexico wow yeah well thank you yeah. so much and congratulations no, thank on you. the great work Regal Springs thank you, Springs thank you for your time yeah continues to lead the way in the tilapia no, no, sector and aquaculture and, uh, in general uh, we, we are really always open to 
new initiatives, new projects, um, including with GSA on, on those projects. So thank, thank you very you so much, much, George. Thank you. Thank you.